Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about caesarean section. Caesarean section, which is commonly known as C-section, refers to a surgical procedure that is done to deliver one or more babies. It's usually performed when a vaginal delivery is a risk for the mother or the baby. So, there are two types of C-sections that are named according to the type of incision which are longitudinal or transverse incisions that are made on the uterus apart from the incision on the skin. Classical caesarean section involves a midline longitudinal incision and then there is lower uterine segment section. It's the procedure that's most commonly used today. In caesarean hysterectomy, it consists of a caesarean section that is followed by the removal of the uterus. Repeat caesarean section is done when the patient had a previous caesarean section. So as you can see on the picture, this shows the types of caesarean section. Classical caesarean section which shows a longitudinal incision and then lower segment caesarean section which shows a transverse incision. So what are the indications for a classical caesarean section incision? That is, transverse lie with spontaneous rupture of membranes, structural abnormality, that makes lower segment approach difficult, constriction ring with neglected labor, fibroids in the lower segment, anterior placenta previa and abnormally vascular lower segment, mother dead and rapid delivery is required, or in a case of a very preterm fetus in bridge presentation. And what are the indications for elective caesarean section? Elective caesarean section refers to a caesarean section which has been preplanned. So due to non-cephalopelvic disproportion, fetal macrosomia whereby the fetus weighs more than 4.5 kg, placenta previa, vesicovaginal fistula repair, HIV and AIDS, active herpes, Repeat caesarean section, uterine surgery, e.g. a hysterotomy or a myomectomy, severe intrauterine growth retardation, bridge presentation, multiple pregnancy, transverse slide of fetus or cancer of the cervix or a tumor that's obstructing the birth canal. So when do we term an elective caesarean section? So when it's done for maternal interest, you don't really have a choice. If it's done for fetal interest, you consider the maturity and the fetal condition, but it's commonly done at 38 weeks gestation. Before emergency caesarean section, what are the prerequisites? So you have to explain to the patient and husband and obtain consent, inform anesthetist or staff, and you may also inform a pediatrician. Then you need 100% oxygen mask in case of fetal distress. Then sodium citrate 20 mL and metoclopramide 10 mg IV. Transfer to the theater. IV lines should be established. And then take blood for hemoglobin. Cross match two units of blood. And it's preferable to use spinal or epidural anesthesia. Catheterize the bladder. Till the mother 15 degrees by using what? Pneumatic inflatable boots or TED stockings. Then you use prophylactic antibiotics that reduce the incidence of infection. Inform pediatric if the mother had opiates in the last four hours. Then halothene. Halothene should not be used because they cause uterine relaxation and bleeding. So what are the complications of caesarean section? Intraoperative, bleeding and the need for blood transfusion. You may have to do a hysterectomy. Complications of anesthesia, damage to the bladder, ureter, colon, retained placental tissue, or fetal and fetal injury. Then post-op complications, gaseous distension, paralytic ileus, wound dehiscence and infection, infection such as a UTI, then you may get a DVT and pulmonary embolism, death, or you may get a vesicouterine fistula. So what is the postnatal care after a woman has had a caesarean section? So blood loss must be monitored, uterine fundus should be palpated, 
effective parental analgesics, deep breathing and coughing is encouraged, early mobilization, fluid therapy and diet, bladder and bowel function, wound care, breast care, prophylaxis for thromboembolism. So mode of delivery in next pregnancy. So criteria for vaginal birth after cesarean section. Patient must agree to the procedure. A low transverse uterine incision. Non-recurrent cause of the previous C-section. No macrosomia, malposition, multiple gestation and bridge. And then what are the contraindications for vaginal birth after C-section? So previous classical C-section. Two or more previous C-sections. Previous other uterine surgery. History of scar rupture. Placenta previa or transverse line. Conduct of labor. So it's similar to the conduct of normal labor. Observe for progress, fetal well-being, maternal well-being, cervix may be ripened, labor may be augmented, epidural and other analgesics may be used, and hospital should provide blood, operating room 24 hours, neonatal resuscitation, nursing anesthesia, and surgical personnel. You can start a cesarean section within 30 minutes. So under complications, we talked about scar rupture. So the incidence is 0.2 to 1.5% for lower segment C-section and 4 to 9% for classical cesarean section. What are the indications of scar rupture? Fetal distress, ease of fetal palpation, cessation of contractions, elevation of presenting part, scar pain, bleeding or shock. So what's the cause of abnormal labor, dystocia, failure to progress in labor? The causes can be abnormality of the passages, such as alteration in the shape of the pelvis or mass occupying the birth canal. Then you may have abnormalities in the passenger that may be due to abnormal lie or abnormal presentation, such as occipital posterior, occipital transverse, brow presentation, face presentation, Bridge presentation, then fetal macrosomia, then perinatal mortality is increased by five times higher than normal weight fetus, congenital malformations, and multiple gestation. Then you may have abnormalities in the powers, which is ineffective uterine activity or lack of voluntary expulsive efforts in the second stage. Dystocia is the most common indication for cesarean section. So that's all about cesarean section. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and comment. And you can comment if you have any requests. Thank you.